So you're trying to decide if you want to make a change. You don't know if you should go to Keller Williams. You don't know if you should go to Coldwell Banker. You don't know if you should go to Realty Executives or maybe it's some local shop that you haven't even thought about yet. Well, it's perfect because today in this video, I'm going to go over the top five reasons or my five reasons why I switched to eXp Realty. What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with eXp Realty, real estate agent and investor. In this channel, we go over all kinds of stuff going from eXp Realty in general, uh, what it's like to be working with eXp, what it's like for social media training. We'll give you social media ideas, open house ideas, listing ideas, buyer ideas, give you all kinds of information on what you may be looking for. So if you have any questions or if you need anything, please feel free to reach out to me by any, by any stretch. Uh, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it helps us grow our channel. Let's go and jump right into it. But today we are going to go over the five reasons why I switched from my previous brokerage to eXp Realty. Jumping right in, number one, the probably the biggest one, the one that you've probably heard the most about is the income streams. Right away, day one, starting one, right out of the gate, you have an opportunity to have three income streams directly from eXp Realty. You've got the revenue share, which is great. I'll touch base on that a little bit. You've got the stock options, which is amazing. I uh, love that aspect of it. And then you've got your typical sales and what that looks like. So you can kind of be kind of thinking about splits and, and things along those lines. Um, but jumping right in, revenue share, amazing. That is probably one of my favorite pieces of it all. Um, agents don't necessarily come just for the revenue share. They come for the splits, they come for the stocks, they come from all the opportunities for it all. But that's the difference with a Keller Williams is to my knowledge, Keller Williams is the only thing that has something similar to that. And it's called a profit share there. So you've got a difference there. So with revenue share, you both have revenue here, revenue is taken up top here. And then the profit is typically taken out of the after all expenses and all of that kind of stuff. So you've got gross revenue and net profit, what you can kind of expect. The Keller Williams, what happens is you get stuff from here, EXP, you get off of the revenue share and then they take their expenses out, which a lot of that is combated with low overhead with EXP and a lot of other things that way. Now, that is a cap. Both of those two agencies have caps. Okay, I know, I know Keller Williams has a cap and I know that eXp has a cap. Obviously I've been with eXp, I am with eXp. But what that looks like is you pay, you're done paying at a certain point in time. So that's where the splits come into, into play. So with eXp, you have a 80-20 split. So agent, I get 80% for every sale I make. So for easy math, if you have a $10,000 commission, you are gonna keep $8,000 of that. Now that includes everything. That's, that's it. And then they, you cap at $16,000. So after I pay in a, for one year, if I pay in $16,000 to eXp Realty, I'm done. I don't pay anymore. I don't pay anything else as far as I don't pay more of at that towards those things. Now you will have transaction fees. You will have uh, some, you know, insurance. You will have a lot of that fee, those fees as well, which you might be sitting there thinking, well, my brokerage doesn't have those. My brokerage doesn't have that. That's true, whether it's a flat fee or whether it's not capped, you're paying for it. If you're producing a decent amount of real or decent amount of sales, you're going to pay for it one way or the other. So, but my number one reason, like I said, are the multiple streams of income and able to build out those opportunities. Uh, once I become an icon agent, I get that $16,000 cap. I get that back in stock options. Now, there's a lot of options there for becoming an icon. There's ways that you can buy cheaper stocks. There's ways that, ways that you can do that one. It may go up, it may go down, but here's the thing. To my knowledge, there's nobody, no other company that's out there being publicly traded and giving that money back to you or you're earning it, but you don't get that money back in your pocket. You lost it, whether it comes from uh, whether you're paying Keller Williams and paying that one, that's gone. I mean, they're, they're getting, you're getting it back in profit share, which is great or whether you don't have a cap and you're paying that one forever. I know some agencies here in town that charge 50-50. The agent gets 50%, the brokerage gets 50%. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for as far as that goes. So revenue share is great. Stock options are amazing. I love the opportunity there. You get There's different times that you can buy in for stocks and stuff that way. Uh, the next one would be the splits, which I touched base a little bit about that. It's an 80-20 split. To my knowledge, there's no other company out there 
that goes lower than them taking in a 20% uh, 20% split on that. Now again, biggest difference in that is EXP's capped. That other brokerage, you may be like, well, my brokerage has an 80-20 split because I know there is one here in town, in my town. But here's the thing with that, you're gonna continue to pay that. So think about it, do the math. How many transactions did you do last year? How much did you pay into your brokerage? And if you need help with that, give me a call. My number's down below, uh, 785-477-5485. I would love to run numbers with you so you can kind of see what that looks like. And I will give you exact numbers of what you will end up paying because some of them, some of them, it doesn't always make sense. I know for me, technically, my numbers from last year, I would have paid more money into EXP Realty, gross. Uh, however, with the, I would have iconed and I would have gotten that money back. Well, I didn't. I don't get that money back. I don't. I didn't get that money back from my previous brokerage. So that's something to pay attention to too. And if you do have questions, I'd love to run numbers with you and kind of show you. No sales pitch, nothing that way. Just honest answers and honest information. So just reach out. We'll get you taken care of. Second reason I showed up to EXP and decided this is a move for me, generational wealth. That's the beauty of it. The revenue share, the stock options, everything I've got, everything that I get day one, mind you, day one with EXP, it's all willable to my kids. It's all willable to my wife if I, just, if I end up kicking the bucket or something. You know, all of that stuff is able to be transferred on to my kids. So whether it's going from $100 a month or who knows to $100,000 a month, who knows? Um, but that's the thing is that whatever I build, as long as I get vested in the company, which I will, um, as long as you get vested in the company, that stuff stays with you forever. It allows you to transfer it on to your family members. It allows you to transfer this stuff on and do that extra stuff. So you don't have to necessarily worry about what your family's gonna do once you, they lose your income, whenever that comes down the pipe. Because again, it's coming. Whether it's in 60 years or 10 years, it's coming. So how, what are you gonna leave your family? Do you have health insurance? Do you have a way that continues to generate income for your family in generations to come? That's the beauty of it all. So the second reason I came over was generational wealth. That's a big one for me, so that I'm able to give my kids the life that I want them to have and able to give my wife the life that I want her to have as well. Third reason, and probably one of my biggest ones that I wasn't necessarily told about or, or didn't realize until I got here, is the unbelievable amount of support. I was always fed, I was always fed from previous, or before I switched over to EXP, I was always fed this line that, oh, you can't get a hold of your broker. Oh, you can't get a hold of anybody. You don't have any support. You're out there by yourself, blah, 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 blah. It's not true, not true. Yes, it's a little honky, it is what it, I mean, honestly, I was a little like, eh, okay, it's EXP world, whatever, you're walking around a metaverse. Uh, which now it's the metaverse. Um, but now that's becoming more and more common in general. But here's the thing about that. I can literally right now jump on my computer, have, an, have something fixed and it's 4.09 on a Friday. I could jump on my computer, go into there, get tech support if I need it. I literally jumped in there and within five minutes I had contract compliance um, information that I needed. And I know for a fact my broker was sitting in there because I saw him sitting in there. And I can just reach out to him that way if I have any questions. But that's the thing, at a typical brokerage, your one point person, your one contract compliance and, and compliance questions, all of that, that's one person, that's your broker, typically. What I will tell you is that you have literally hundreds, if not thousands of people that are re right here, ready to go and help you out with anything that you may be looking at whether it's contracts, whether it's compliance questions, whether it's whatever it may be. And they all, and like, for example, we have three brokers that are managing brokers and designated brokers. We have three of them on call pretty much anytime that we need them to. I know that at, at midnight, if I have a tech question or something that way, I can go back onto the meta or on the metaverse, not the metaverse. I can go into EXP world and I can go out there and check out and see, answer any questions I have, get it fixed at midnight and be done. Not worry about it. I don't have to worry about it the next day. Can, now granted, I don't know if anybody's like me that I work often. I love my wife. I appreciate her, everything she does and supports me that way because she allows me to work that way. Um, nice plug for you, baby. I appreciate it. Um, but that's where I'm at here, guys, is that the amount of support is here. I have my broker's cell phone number. I could text him right now if I wanted to and he would typically answers pretty quickly. But that's the thing, it's not just him or her, depending on who your broker is, it's not just them to help you. 
we have multiple people to help you with that piece of it. Moving on to that, training. The support of all of that stuff, that's training. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of trainings that are available on a monthly basis. And I mean, there's, there's multiple a day that we can get you into and get things going. Every Friday we have a, uh, every Friday we have a, bro a broker room. This is my, my current brokerage, um, state room. We have a state training every single Friday. So if you wanna come in and get brushed up on your contracts or brushed up on whatever it is, you have that opportunity to do that. You do it from your, from your office chair. You do it from your house. You do it from wherever you're working that day. It really doesn't matter. You could be on a beach in Cabo and be doing whatever the heck you want to and still jump on this call and you don't have to worry about getting into the office, going into a training room, doing all that kind of stuff. Now, I know a lot of people think that isn't a big deal anymore because it isn't. I will be honest, it really isn't. Um, but that's the beauty of it all too, is that we are based in EXP world I get, I was literally on a call the other day with one of the top commercial agents in Arkansas. He's laying out his playbook to give us the opportunity to do that in our local market. And he's not worried about people stealing business or stealing ideas or doing stuff that way because he's there to support you in that sense of it and get all that stuff rolling, rolling along there. So support's great. I love that aspect of it. The training, the company culture, the up and all of that really Company culture, your training, your networking, everything that you have, you immediately plug into that. So again, that's with having one of the fastest growing brokerages in the country and technically worldwide. But that's the beauty of it all is that we have that opportunity to go out and, and, uh, and help educate people and getting top producers laying out their playbook for you. Now you may be sitting there saying, well, yeah, I can get that at my brokerage. Yeah, okay. But are, can you can you go find them now, right now? Because I could, I could go out there in EXP world and I could go find what I need to, uh, and get a hold of somebody that I need to and talk to them and ask them questions. So that's a big one for me. Probably the the still on support kind of one of the things that biggest things that switched me over or tipped me over that way is your upline. So with EXP Realty, you have people above you, and that's how you figure out your revenue share. Uh, so what that looks like is where that support is. The camaraderie on that one is unbelievable. I think it matters, I will tell you, I think it matters on your upline. So make sure if you are thinking about switching to eXp, talk to me, I'll get you taken care of and we'll figure it out. Obviously there's, a, who is in your upline matters. That matters a lot. So pay attention to who's in that. So that's what I like about ours and what we do. Um, the collaboration that we have is just unmatched in my opinion. Fourth thing on my list of why I joined eXp, technology. We are truly a technology company that is working in the real estate industry. We have the eXp world, which is a wonderful place, wonderful tool, and probably one of the first of its kind for real estate. Uh, we have for free, quote unquote, for free, we have free use of eXp. It's technically included in our monthly fees of $85, great. I know the last time I looked at KV Core, it was ranging around five to $600 a month of what it would be to have an individual agent pull that one. So that's saving money in itself. And KV Core is probably one of the strongest, one of the best CRM systems out there as far as making sure we're staying on top of clients, making sure we're emailing them, making sure we're texting them, getting all that stuff out there. So KV Core is a huge, huge, huge tool that you're getting for included, I shouldn't say for free, but included in your membership and your $85 monthly fee. Uh, so that's a big one for me. Skyslope, this is our, um, this is our document, kind of our document deal of it. Uh, and that is, it has a DigiSign um, aspect of it. It is, it takes care of our co uh, contract compliance, uh, helps out with that one. That's a huge, uh, that's another powerful tool for people to utilize here locally too. And I know a lot of brokerages pay for that right now. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but I know that it's not cheap. And with that's all of this is included with your, uh, when you join eXp. So one of my biggest ones for technology, that was a, a huge, huge piece for me. And you're getting all of this included. So definitely be on the lookout for that one, but technology is a big one. And you might be sitting there thinking, well, my broker does this, 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 and this. Okay, again, I go back to it, run your numbers. What's your number doing? What number are you paying? So yeah, he's gonna pay for leads and he's gonna pay for all of that kind of stuff, but you're paying him for that. Whether it's in your splits or whether it's in a, a monthly fee or whatever it is, some form or another, you're probably paying them for that. So just keep that in mind. And again, if you wanna run numbers, call me, 
no pressure to sign anything or do anything. I just want to help. So if you want to run numbers and see what you're actually paying and what you're leaving on the table, give me a call. We'll, re we'll figure it out and get you taken care of. Number five. This one for me was probably my biggest point of what I did and why I switched, why I finally made the decision to make the switch. The biggest epiphany that I had when I switched over is you always hear people say, the, five, the top five people, the five people you spend the most time with, that's who you become. So who you are around, the people in your room matters. Okay, so the biggest thing I wanna to talk to you about, the biggest epiphany that I had was this. Just because they're in my room, and I was starting to see this one and wanting to level up and wanting to become better and wanting to up my game in the real estate industry and, and help with that fact of it. Just because they're not physically, I can't reach out and touch them, does not mean they can't be in my room. Here's the thing, guys. In today's day and age, we've got Zoom, you've got Google Meet, you've got YouTube, you've got all kinds of things. They can be your teachers and you don't have to physically be next to them. This was a big thing for me because it's, are you running with chickens or are you flying with eagles? So think about that. You know, I don't care, who, I don't care what brokerage you're with, if it's, if it's Coldwell Banker or Keller Williams or whoever it is, I don't care who it is. Because everybody, especially these national brands, they have that opportunity but how much do you have access to them? I've got guys in my upline that are making, I mean, they're, they're selling millions, millions of dollars worth of real estate. I know a guy uh, in our group, in our upline, in our group, uh, what we call it, um, what he, he, he's breaking records. I mean, he's breaking sales records. And that's, those are the people that you can be around and have access to and be able to do all of that kind of stuff. So be aware of that, have that, who is in your room? Who is in your room? It doesn't have to physically be where you're at locally. Because here's the thing is that any contract questions I have for Kansas, I go call up my broker, I go get a hold of the contract compliance person, I go talk to these people and have access to them immediately. And I'm able to go do that and I'm able to get them taken care of. So what five people are you spending the most time with? Are they leveling you up or are they bringing you down? Because you're gonna be the sixth one, whether it's the sixth richest or the fifth poorest, sixth poorest. So who's in your room? Anyway, guys, I do wanna say thank you so much for checking in. If you're still here with me, I do appreciate it. If you've got questions about switching to eXp Realty or anything along the lines, or anything about eXp and you have any questions about it, give me a call. My number is 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. Reach out. I wanna tell you from the bottom of my heart, I'm not here to sell you on anything. I don't really care that much. I have, my biggest thing is I wanna help educate. And if I can help you make an educated decision, whether it's in, in a different downline or whether it's in my downline, I'm here to help. I wanna make sure that I'm getting you taken care of and making sure that we, as a whole, real estate agents as a whole, are leveling up our industry. I don't want that, I don't want the, the people that are not really looking to get better I want you to look to get better and I want you to say, okay, who am I gonna spend the most time with? Who are the people that I'm gonna have access to? That's your question. So be thinking about that. And again, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified of any future content and give me a like just because it helps me grow my channel. I appreciate it guys and until next time, we'll see you later.